Mga Kababayan, Ang Pampansang Awit ng Pilipinas Hello, good day, our beloved students. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Miss Jess Canes from the Guidance Department, your Guidance Facilitator. Um, today, I will introduce to you our speaker for this Moral Recovery Program. He is a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Psychology, taking up also a Master's Degree in Guidance and Counseling. A ministry head of the outreach program in Harvest Church, an Act Field Speakers Bureau for the implementation of Moral Recovery Program, and a PNP Life Coach. Please welcome our speaker, none other than Mr. Shernan Habuli. To our active and supportive Chairman, Sir Rep. Cesar Pixon, to our Senior Vice Presidents, Dr. Padilla and Dr. Guerra. To our principal for uh, junior high school, Mrs. Jacqueline Montales. Uh, to our guidance director, Mrs. Michelle Diaz. To the faculty and staff, good day. So here I am uh, today to, it is an honor and pleasure uh, to discuss to you today and to share with you about my knowledge in um, moral recovery and values formation. So today we're going to tackle up three majors, uh, major topics. First is uh, the dangers of drug addiction, uh, respect to authority, and also uh, the love of God. All right. So the first thing that uh, I would like to, to share to you today is uh, all about uh, the dangers of drug addiction. As we can see that... Uh, Drug addiction is very rampant, very trending. Uh, haya nga panahon that uh, uh, especially when uh, the involvement of young people and uh, uh, adolescents that are uh, being uh, corrupted by this addiction. So, uh, one of the objectives that we should learn uh, today is to acquire knowledge uh, and the effect of drug addiction. Uh, second is to inform the youth how they are being trapped into drugs and how to get out of drugs. Also to maintain an environment of love by being drug free. So one of uh, major factors that we should consider is uh, 
first is our community. Kung haing kita na okoy, ano nga klase nga pamilya, or uh, the friends that we get along. So, as we can see that uh, as people, uh, as an individual, we have that uh, moral that to know what is good and what is evil, what is right from wrong. So, as we can see, drug addiction or being hooked up with drugs uh, is a major uh, problem nowadays. So, there are, uh, there are two types of drugs. First is the stimulants. Um, these are drugs that makes uh, the users high. It's for example, is the LSD or marijuana. Second is the depressants or drugs that depresses the users, causing him to slow down. Uh, for example, is shabu, cup syrup, and tranquilizer, right? So, how do people are trapped with this kind of addiction? First is through peer pressure. So as we can see, the Bible quoted in 1 Corinthians 15.33 that when you have bad company, it corrupts good character. So kung hino ang imogin opdan, ano na klase ng mga sangke and may daka, masusugad ka gihapon na era. You will be like them. Because uh, you share common ideas, um, common habits, kung anon era ginihimo, amo gihapon na naton ginihimo. So, peer pressure. Alright? So, kung ano nga klase na aton sangkay, amo gihapon kita magiging kita. So, when we see our friends as a model, as we can see that uh, our friends is just like an, a model to us that uh, we put our, our confidence and uh, trust to them. So, kung ano't era gin, ginihimo, amo gyapo na natin ginihimo. It's just an adaptation of, 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 of what company that we have. So, amo tiya, peer pressure. So, tanan na mga young, young at young age, uh, it's na experience and so kadi nga klase nga, nga pressure. Second is the wrong perception of joy and happiness. Right? So, when you are in drugs or you are taking drugs in, uh, in your system, aday mo sistema, it is, first is, you, it will give you a momentary high or brings you a comfort and joy. Second is, the experience makes you forget your problems. So, amoyton when uh, when someone is encouraging you to take like to take illegal drugs, they will say to you that um, mau pa na uh, you will you will forget about your problem. Kalimtan mo ni mo problema, problema yung panimalay, problema yung askulahan. So, as you can see, the wrong perception of joy and happiness can affect an aton, uh, can affect our lives, right? So, the experience gives you thrill and excitement. So, once we are uh, in drugs, uh, gusto ito pero may natin something daring or thrill natin while we are doing it. So, nagkakamayada kita ng mga excitement, like, daring things. Nahi mo natin that the things that are, like, out of, out of normal. Also, it pleases your senses and gives you confidence. Amo ito parang gin, gin tatagang kita hin confidence na parang bagat. Duaray na kita haaton kalugaringon. Okay? And also, it, it will later give you guilt feelings and somehow, it will soon sap your energy. So when we are taking drugs, uh, pag-ada ka han, han, imo high moments, maupay pan imo, the mood that you have is just like 
gusto nimo na parang ada ka la permanente but when it saps up your energy when when the low when the low time comes so it will depress you and your uh it will make you emotional also it will cost you your health and it will cost also your relationship to your family to your peers to your friends also apektado gud pati niyo pag aram right so it causes physical discomfort it strains emotional and psychological and physical so when you are in drugs stimulants man ito or depressant makita natin that uh, after we have used this these drugs um may da good side effect na naitatabo haton lawas there will be a side effect on our health and also uh, that brings us to uh, insomnias um, may mga an an movements sa naton lawas nga dir uh, uncontrolled mga uh, psychological and emotional that uh, we are we are all, always getting a feeling of guilt all right so what uh, also on how people are being trapped into drug addiction it is when we are we have uh, ignorance from the word of god so dire na kita na kag pamati han, han pulong ang ginoo waray na kita time para mag magsimba or time to to meditate to to ponder with the word of god so um Next is unsurrendered life to God. So there are things that uh, we should surrender to God, uh, especially with the things that uh, that are not um, that are not uh, useful into our lives, things that are uh, toxic into our life. We should surrender it to God. It says here in the quote of uh, in Romans twelve one and two. Uh, so then. My friends, because God's great mercy to us, I appeal to you, offer yourselves as a living sacrifice to God, dedicated to His service and pleasing to Him. This is true worship that you should offer. Do not conform yourselves to the stand standards of this world, but let God transform you inwardly by a complete change of your mind then you will be able to know the will of God, what is good and is pleasing to Him and is perfect. So what the, 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 the Word of God is saying is, we should offer ourselves as a living sacrifice to God and always dedicate our service for His glory. So as we can see that this, this, this life this this body is a, a a temple of god this is a a a place wherein god is living so kun ano tim aton ginihimo aton lawas kun makaraot man iton it will affect you in different aspects of your life right maybe physically emotionally and um also uh one of the factor that uh, people are drug into uh, people are trapped into drug addiction is the loneliness at home. So it is also caused by the absent, uncaring, and unloving parents. So usang factor good talaga nga why uh, major young people are into drugs is because the of lack of parenting. So, importante ko ha aton panimalay mismo, ha aton mismo mga kag-anak, that we should take care of, uh, also take care, teach, motivate our children, natin mga anak, to be more, uh, to be more loving, more uh, dedicated, more passionate, and also uh, having that sense of relationship 
na dapat ang aton ang aton panimalay mismo is the support system of uh, of the child especially han ira mga pagdako right so also is the feeling of worthlessness o masarin kita haton kalugoringon that we will say to ourselves i am no use anyway waray man ako gamit or life is not worth living parang waray man purpose na aton kinabuhi and nobody cares and loves me anyway so himuon ko na lang ni nga butang i will just i will i will do these things it's because nga waray naman nag uh, nagki-care ha akon waray naman nag uh, waray naman silbi ni nga kinabuhi bagan uh, nobody loves me pan waray naman ako gamit ta kalibutan or waray naman ako gamit amon balay permanente na lako kini isgan so th- this is our triggering factor why uh, people are into drug addiction also the last is the feeling of pride right so feeling that he he controls everything i can handle this let me have this just once so sumaringan so, kita nga pride it is like uh, these are the things nga parang uh, we have this self uh, selfishness in us that kaya ko ito uh, mahimo ko ini mabuti man la I can manage this but uh, these are the things that uh, also is a trap uh, that will lead us to drug addiction so uh In connection with this, uh, in connection with this, uh, we should also why 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 do people uh, why do people have this uh, delinquency or why do people have this uh, kind of mentality? It's because of lack of respect to the authority. So makita natin that. Uh, We should know our authority. First, is we should know that we have a higher authority, which is God. Second is uh, an authority that we have in our parents, the authority that we have in our uh, our, our teachers, our principals. Makita natin that uh, as students. Uh, we should uh, we should know that we are subordinates or we we have this uh, authority that that manages or uh, takes care of us so uh, makita natin in 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 biblical term authority is must must be followed or authority must be respected all right so if if we disregard or disrespect authority this are uh, i will give you just a, a uh, simple uh, category wherein it will be an effect if we disrespect the authority so in connection with this in in drug addiction so first is these are the effects of disrespect to authority the first is physical illness So in the case of in the in, in the biblical story in the case of Miriam it's because he defied Moses uh, he got leprosy. So in in the Bible leprosy is one of the uh, leprosy is one of the uh, disease that are uh, that are have no medications or waray nagud waray bulong. So inihara na klase ang tao that are uh, being discriminated or uh, you you have no socialization with them right next is punishment the effects of disrespect with authorities is punishment so if you disrespect a police or a uniform personnel it may tatabuhaton mapipriso good kita right also scolding so makita natin that uh, when when we scold someone that is higher from us or uh, is, has higher position than us parang it is not ethical to to 
to say a loud voice or speak to them in like uh, not well mannered, right? So, how to relate to authority and superiors, or how how can we have this uh, relationship, good relationship with our uh, authority or our superiors or people in position? First, uh, first is honor and respect them. So we should honor our our parents. We should honor our uh, teachers, people with positions, aton mga atis, aton mga kuyas, people that are uh, aton guardians, mga, mga tanan nga, mga tao that, uh, that is taking care of us, uh, and mga tao nga aada, or ang mga tao nga gin, gin, uh, gin authorize para magbantay aton people that are, are always there para magmonitor monitor aton. So, we should give honor and respect them. Second is, never compromise. Third is, give the best to your uh, studies. One of, one of this, uh, one, of the, one of the uh, show, one of the things that uh, shows respect to other people is giving your best out of it. So, kung ano, ano man ang imugin bubuhat, whatever the things that you are doing for that people, or kung na-eskwela ka man, for your teacher, uh, for the school, you should do what is best. Right? And next is, when it conflict, settle with concerned people. Right? So, when you have conflict with, uh, with uh, a person or particular person or uh, a person in, in a position so dapat di rin nato nito paaboton na mas mag, maging malala pa or uh, umabotan point nga parang mas maging worsen pa so if we if we have uh, some differences or conflicts we should settle it right and next is serve and please God above all Right? So, we should be servants and uh, a God-fearing person. So, kita gihapon, mga estudyante, should, we should always uh, give our service to the Lord. Bisa nang pagsugot nato nato mga kag-anak. It is one way of serving God. Alright? Next is, be an instrument. Uh, bringing uh, your boss or bringing your, your teachers, uh, praying for them. Uh, supporting them uh, and igpafeel na nato na that that they are important it is one way of uh, having good relationship with them all right so it will always boils down to paano ba kita mag mag-acquire uh, values or paano ba kita magiging uh, morally right Paano ba ini nag-start? It will always boils down to 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 the maker or to the creator which is God. So it is because of his godly character uh, that that he engaged to us through his love pinagihan iya anak which is Jesus Christ. So as we as we know that God exists, he is a person but he is also a deity. Big sabihin he is, he is he is God and he is a person he can relate to us and also he is a, he is a deity. Big sabihin he is he has a kingdom, he is the king and he is he is God. So what are the attri- attributes of God? Paano ba natin mas makikilala ang Ginoo? So we should we should know more of the attributes of God. First is, He is the Creator. He is the one who created everything by the power of His Word. It says in, in uh, Genesis 1-2. So, nahitabuhan niya tanan, it's all because of the release of His Word. Right? He is also, God is also the all-powerful or as we as we see it, the omnipotent. So, he has the absolute ability to do everything. 
He does all things effortlessly. He is the source of all power. He cannot violate His own nature. So, kung ano ang ginoo, kung, papano, kung, kung anong pagkakilala nato na iya, that He is the all-powerful, He can do everything. He can do everything that He wants. Kung gusto niya baguhan na natin kinabuhi, He can do that. Alright? So also, He is the Creator. He is all-powerful or omnipotent. He is also all-knowing. Omniscient. He knows and understands all things in limitless details. He is the source of knowledge past, present, and future. So, as we can see, students or uh, viewers that that our God is also the all-knowing. Ibig sabihin that He knows everything about us. He knows every details. He knows every problems. He knows every everything that we we think, we speak, even before we speak it, even uh, even before uh, we know it. Maaram nang you know. Even before we are born, God God knows that we will exist into this world, right? So God is all knowing. Also, He is all present, or He is everywhere, and He is unchanging. Because uh, whatever whatever He does, well, He is forever perfectly the same in His character. His attributes and His plans. So, uh, as we can see that whatever God has uh, spoken or whatever God has planned uh, years ago, whatever has spoken into His promises, it will come to pass. Natanan nito mahitabo. Alright, that's the attributes of God. Also, what are uh, some of the main characters of God? Right. So, one of the main characters of God is He is holy. He is different from us. Kasi kita as people, as tao, we have this, um, we often sin or nakakasala kita. We often do things that are not, uh, kumbaga, immoral. But He is different from us. He is far and beyond as in everything. He is morally pure and perfect. Kumbaga, there is no there's no sin in God. Waray sala hagino. Right? Next is he is a loving God. Or he is the author of love. Right? As a way of showing his love, there is a sacrificial giving. A commitment to serve not based in feelings or willing to suffer. So, makita natin that it's because of God's love. Nasa yung John 3.16, it's because of God's love that He gave His only Son for us. And those who believe in Him shall not perish. Right? Also, uh, a character of God that He is good. Right? Kung familiar ka mo rin and uh, every time that we go into church, God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. It's because God is always good. He is morally perfect, wonderful, wonderfully generous, good in defined based on God as the standard. Kumbaga, di rin natin hiya ma-define na good in our own standard, but He is good in His standard of who He is, the innate character of God. Next is, God is righteous. He's always acting according to the truth. We sometimes, we have a feeling of guilt every time that that have a kita, of guilt, we have a feeling of guilt, we have a feeling of guilt, we have a feeling but God has this kind of righteousness that He shared to us through Jesus Christ. So He is uh, always acting, acting on the truth, according to the truth. Dere hiya nagbibased ha 
kamalian bat yung bibis niya nga tanan kung ano't makakaupay kung ano't tama ng kung ano't maupay right he is also a just judge that uh, always judging and acting fairly and impartially he always he uh, he is always doing right right he knows from what is good and what is evil what is wrong and what is right so uh, he is a just god ibig sabihin if we do something that is good he will show us goodness but kung may da kita nahimo na dire maupay may da kita sinisiring pa nga mga consequences natin ma- ma-face so when when he he came when he come back makita natin that uh, he will no longer be a savior but a judge haton based kun anon aton ginhimo while we are still on earth so, uh, next is he is compassionate and kind it says here at um, Matthew 9 verse 36 to 37 when he saw the crowd he had compassion on them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without shepherd as we can see that uh, the God that we are serving that, or, or the God that we know is a compassionate and a kind God that uh, he always takes care of his people so if you have a relationship with God he will always take care of the things that you need ang mga kinanglano natin ang ginoo mismo ang, ang maaram ang ginoo mismo maghahatag atin that's the kind of God that, that, that we know or that's the kind of God that we are serving right but paano ba Kaya no ba no na we, we have this kind of separation from God? The problem is God and man uh, has separation. It's because of simple. It's, it's because of sin. It is sin that separates us from God. Also, being rebellious, being self-sufficient, independent, basically selfish, and a corrupt heart. Pag in morality, if we have uh, a corrupt heart, it will always boils down to corruption of everything that we do. But if we have the, the, uh, this loving heart or a heart just like God, a compassionate and kind heart or uh, a character of God, it will always manifest in us. Magawas na magawas ito, haaton. Also, uh, as a sign of, of love, uh, we should have this uh, reconciliation with God. So, paano ba natin ma-reconcile natin kalugaringon? Is to believe, to believe and accept Jesus Christ as personal Savior. So, invite Him, haaton kinabuhi, invite him as uh, as our lord and also um, it's a proof of god's love is paano ba natin masiring na igugmao natin ang Gino? it is by obeying his commandments uh, loving one another praying and meditating on his word and uh, next is uh, serving him so through this uh, through these efforts through these actions makasaring natin nga it is one way of showing because God loves us before he lo- we love God kaya ang nauna naggigugma aton so one way of showing God is is through through these kinds of actions believing in him praying in him uh, showing our, our, our love to others, even in, in to our enemies. So, uh, one of the things that we should consider is to love those who hate us. Alright? Bisang pan mga tao nga nakasakit haton, the people that hurt us, the people that condemned us, uh, discriminated us, makita natin that 
the real uh, morality or the real uh, values na ginpapakita nato ng Gino is to be kind, to be loving towards other people. So when we say uh, change, pa- paano ba ito, sir, kay, kay Makuri man, bagan Makuri man, mabago kay amo namang guda ko yun eh. So just believe it in your heart that God will gonna change you and will gonna transform you into a different person. Because when you have God in you, when you have this car- kind of character that, that God has given you, di rin na makuri pag-change sa imo. Di rin na makuri pag, pag, pag-bago sa imo. So as we can see, the, the, the congruency or connection and being in a drug uh, being in, in drug addiction respecting to authority and from the love of God because when you love God you respect your authority and when you respect your authority you will not be hooked up or will be dealing with drug addiction because first and foremost is we should know that the real core of values and morality is God. And when we know God, and when we have relationship with God, it, all, it, it will always flow into a, a, a positive and uh, it will always flow into a positive and a good character. So, as uh, as I end up this uh, uh, discussion, so let it be that the importance of of values and morality in your life, and uh, don't uh, hesitate to share this to to other people. Because makita nato na importance ba of being aware and and drug addiction, uh, respecting to the authority and the love of God. If you are aware of this, uh, this will be uh, there will be a change in your in your perception or per- uh, perception to towards anything. I believe that you have learned something from this, and all I have to say is God bless, and have a good day. Thank you.